Hello, this is Darren L. Hammett again, here to give you some instruction on some tools I've provided in Moodle, uh, the Al Purdue website, and easybib.com, which is a citation generator. So I will take you there. Um, these tools will be extremely useful to you now as we do the synthesis paper and as we do the research paper. This is the Purdue Online Writing Lab, or the OWL at Purdue. And um, they've got lots of useful things here, uh, things for uh, pre-writing, uh, researching, grammar and mechanics, all sorts of things. But what we're concerned about today is MLA citation. And you need to click on the 2009 formatting over here on the right which will pull up a page that gives general instructions. And um, if MLA is confusing at all for you, uh, it would be most helpful to read through this introductory material. And it tells you a bit about MLA style and why it does the things that it does. Um, over here, you can navigate through the menu and what I'm going to do with you is take you down to the type of work that we want to cite. And you've got to hunt through there to find the right one. But here is the one that we need, books. So I'll click on books. And then once we found the books section, it'll give a very basic overview of a very basic book, last name, uh, title of the book, the city of publication, colon, publisher, comma, year of publication, period, and then the media of publication, which is either web or print. Um, but we need a more specific one. That's the basic overview. In our book, we've got a collection of essays. And so I'm hunting for that here. And a collection of essays or short stories or whatever are referred to as an anthology uh, or a collection. So what we have here is an anthology. And um, this has different contributors to it, which means it has different authors. So uh, we put last name first for the author of the essay that we're working with. So in the case of David McCullough's piece, No Time to Read, in quotation marks, the essay goes. After that, the book title, which is in italics. And then ED period stands for editor. And the editor of our book is also the author of the entire book. Um, city of publication, colon, publisher, comma, year, comma, page range of the entire essay. So like 307 through 309. And then the medium of publication, which in our case will be print. Notice those examples down below. Uh, they might be helpful in seeing what. Sorry about the audio blip there, but I'm taking you now to easybib.com. And uh, I'm going to show you a few things here. As I mentioned, this is a generator of citations. And this is an easy tool to use that most teachers won't steer you towards, but I will because I'm all about making things easy for you. Um, notice that we've got to choose here the type of resource that we have. And in our case, it's a book. And notice also that we're in MLA style here. Um, now I just clicked on manual entry and you'll need to do manual entry um, 
for this to work. Um, it will not work if you do the search author or search publication. Um, I actually selected the wrong button for an electronic book. So let me figure out how to get back to where I was. Um, I think actually we just need to go back and click on book up here at the top and we can get there. And don't worry about what it says up there. Notice that it says in print now. And um, right now the whole book is selected and we need to change that. We want a chapter or selection and it updates it for us. Now we have the option of putting in the chapter or section title. This is where the essay title goes. Um, the contributors, this is the essay author. So just plug in that information for the essay you're using. Scroll down and here is the book title. And uh, you don't have to put in the whole title, but just the first part. We don't have volumes to this, but we do have an edition. I believe our book is the sixth edition, but double check me on that. The publisher, which is Wadsworth, the city is Boston, the year 2012. And this is the start and end page of the entire essay. So for example, 307 through 309. You click Create Citation and you're on your way. Uh, it's as easy as that and it will save you a ton of time, but you do have to know how to check it and make sure that it's correct. So that's why we have the outlet Purdue.